que si usted firmó con Anthony, con Eddie Hearn, con el, el La Promesa. Eso lo, sabe, a... eso lo sabe mi manager. Says the, his manager is the one that did those deals, so he doesn't really. A ese tú le puedes hacer la pregunta. Yeah, that's a better, better question for his manager. We'll be here later on this afternoon. Le cedimos el paso a. But that's a, part a, of what a, we. A what, the reason we did that. Con click y mandatorio teníamos que pelear. So, so when he signed, he said. De la casa. He gave him, he gave Hearn, and and Vladimir and the WBA, the permission, to fight each other, that first fight with. Everyone in, you know, in, in, in involved to say you're next immediately, no matter what happens. And then that whole bit started with possible rematch. That took a year to figure out when Klitschko finally said he was not going to fight. And then they just, you know, put him aside and whatever. Why so why didn't that fight happen? Do you think Anthony Joshua is afraid to fight you and Deontay Wilder? Yes. Que si Anthony Joshua tiene miedo a pelearte a ti y a Wilder. Yes. No. Es uno de los que se quiere pelear. Es uno de los que pero el papel va con una persona, va con una persona muy seria. Tiene que tener cuidado. ¿Qué piensas con Tyson Fury que está amenazando? He said that 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 you know Joshua's not a guy that should be calling anyone out, and not a guy like Wilder, who can punch and is quick and is light on his feet. Joshua's a, a robot, so he'll be in big trouble. Yo me siento que estoy ahí. Tengo hambre. Si quieres pelear conmigo, te voy a morder un brazo, te voy a morder una oreja, como hizo Tyson con Oli. Okay. Yeah.